Hey guys and welcome, this video is on the plugin Crystal Quest and Crystal Quest is a PvP minigame and the aim of the game is to kill the crystals that spawn to get points and you also get points for killing players on your team power ups will also spawn so I've made a quick example map here and I'll quickly run you through the commands first thing you want to set is your global lobby and to do this you do CQ set lobby so this is where all your games will be inside here then you want to do is create an arena so the command for this is CQ create arena and then it will give you a number so this is arena 2 then you have to set the name for arena 2 so CQ set name the ID was 2 and then the name so we will call this one tower so this one's called tower I know it's not really got tower then what you can do is actually check what other stages you've got left to do so you do CQ check and then whatever the ID was, so 2 and as you can see I've still got to set pretty much everything so I'll quickly run through them, you want to set the teams so this is just a 2 player map and you can have up to 8 players if you set up to 2 the colours will be green and orange then yellow, red, blue, magenta, white and black so the colours coordinate with what numbers you've got and I'll leave a link in the description for what they are so to set them all you do is CQ set teams the ID so 2 and then how many teams so I've set the teams to 2 then what you do is set the team lobbies so this is where the teams will spawn and this is just the team lobby so what you could do is you could have it up the top here or anywhere so for instance I'll have the lobby up here so CQ oops, team lobby ID is 2 and then whichever one this is. So this is team one, which is green. And then this is going to be team two, which is orange. So you'd ideally have a glass block or something that the players spawned in so they could see the map. Oops. Yeah, that is right. Yeah. So that's set up right. So then what you want to do is set the min and max players. And to do this, you do CQ min players. ID so 2 and then the number so I want the minimum players to be 2 same again max players 2 and I want it to be 4 so the max players is 4 the min players is 2 then what you can do is you can either do CQ spawn and do it like that and add spawns to the map and this will mean that they're random so any team member can spawn anywhere or you can set team spawns so I'm gonna set team spawns and to set a team spawn you go inside you do CQ team spawn ID so this one's 2 and then the team so this is team 2 as well this side so this team 2 will spawn here go to the opposite end do the same and this means that they'll always respawn at their base if you wanted it to be sort of team deathmatch style where they spawn everywhere you could do it the other way and then it doesn't really matter because you're going to just spawn anywhere and then this one as you can see this has been set for team 1 so we've set both the team spawns then you need to set your crystal spawns so if you have a block of wool associated to a colour under the crystal that means only that team can get the point from this one so to do that you do CQ crystal spawn and then the ID so this is 2 this is 2 and this one's just going to be a random one that either team can get and that's number three so there's three crystals on this map then you want item spawns this spawns special items for the map and for this CQ item spawn and then the ID so two so obviously my map's not very even it's not very good but you could come up with something far better than this this is just thrown together I am planning to have this on my server I know people keep asking when that's out I am working on it at the moment, it's not near release at the moment, but I am trying my hardest to get it up to start scratch. This time I want to make sure it is at a good stage before I release it. So then the final thing you do is go back to your lobby and you can add some signs. We'll just add some signs in the game first. I've already set them up, but I'll show you how to create each sign. So you've got a lobby spawn, that will basically teleport you back to the lobby. And all that is is bracket, crystal, quest. And then lobby on the last line. So that creates that one. Shop, 
same again. Crystal Quest shop. That creates the shop. Pick a class, just bracket. Crystal Quest. And that does the create a class. So that's all the signs. Just put them both sides. Basically, when players right click on it, they get to choose their class. They can look in the shop and buy upgrades. And then if they get fed up, they could teleport back to the lobby. And that will quit them from the game. So first you can create a random sign. So all you do is crystal quest. And then random. And basically that will join a random game if you right click on it. Then you can create a spectate one. So crystal quest. And then spectate. And basically when you right click on that it will show you which lobbies are available. And which one you can watch. So then you can create this one, Crystal Quest, and then Tower, and as you can see it creates it. You have to make sure this one's on the second line and the rest are all on the third line. So as you can see it says it's currently in Lobby. Then the final thing to do is actually protect your arena. So do CQ Wand, it gives you the wand, and then select from the bottom point to the top point. Then type CQ protect. And as you can see, Arena 2 is now protected. So then if we do CQ check 2, you can see that all the things are now done. It's got protection, it's got spawn points. So everything's been added. We don't need to do anything else. All we need to do now is join a game. So to join the game, all you do is right click on that sign. Then it comes up, you can either do a random team or you can pick your team. So if I click orange, I'll quickly go on my other account and join the game. So I'll quickly join the game. If I was to click random, it would choose a random arena. If I was to click spectate, you can see there's currently one in four in the lobby. So it's not actually in play at the moment. So if I right click, I can only choose one team. And this is because it tries to make the teams even. So basically, where you spawn at the spectate bit, you want to have these signs, because then players can pick a class before the game. So I am going to choose Fish Fight this time. And then when the game starts, I get teleported to the start. I've got my class items. And then all these things will actually spawn. So you just have to set the times in the config file for how often they spawn. As you can see, something spawned here. And that just gave me two points. So green has got two points. And if I was to kill him, I'd also get points. I'm not going to kill him at the moment. But as you can see, a crystal spawned here. So all I have to do is click this, be the first team to get it, and I get three points. If a crystal spawns here, this is my green one. I'm on green team, so if I quickly show you. As you can see, I've got green hat on, so I'm green team. Players can't actually get this on my team. This is protected by us so it's almost like our flag so it's our crystal the other team can get it but we can't as you can see a TNT spawned here so if I was to get the TNT go into their base place it down run away and as you can see it blew up it do damage to the other players diamond again so that's more points for our team landmine is probably the best one I've found so click that as you can see 12 points and if I click this one, it will say that you can't destroy your own crystal. The landmine is probably the most fun one I've seen. You place it, it will pop up out of the ground. And if you stand on it, you die instantly. As you can see, I actually dropped crystals from dying there. So I actually lost points. So nine points we went down to. But I can recover them before the other team. So I've got 12 points, 16 points. And basically, you can set the time in the config file as well for how long the game will last. But I really really like this so I can either change class at any point during the game by clicking the class sign and then just change it and after my death it will change or I can open the shop and buy upgrades as well so if I wanted to upgrade something you've chosen the crystal hunter class as you saw and then if I get fed up I could just go to the lobby it will make the other team win as you can see the sign restarts and then after about 10 seconds he teleports here and the lobby will be ready to play again so as you can see it's ready again. But I think this is a really really fun mini game. It is super fun to play. I see it being one of the best mini games out there. I see it going to be rolled out on some of the massive servers. So I do really really think it is a great plugin. 
There'll be a download link to it in the description below. And as always, guys, please remember to rate, subscribe, and comment. Cheers.